Alright ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of ASA. I got six questions today. That seems to be the common norm for ASA now, five to six questions, so let's bump it up. If you got a question, leave it down below. Do it! Anyways, let's get started with Bazooka. What do you think is your most successful video series and why? Also, which do you enjoy making the most? So out of all those series I have, I pretty much only have two series now, and that's this one, ASA, and my shorts. I would say for sure the most successful is my short series where I just kind of take a Lego set, talk about it for a few minutes. Well, not even a few minutes, just a minute. And at the end, I always give it like a rating, like a 7 out of 10 or whatnot. So that's definitely the most successful because it's a short, which means that it just has the random potential to blow up. Some of my shorts have like 2,000 views. This one has over 7,000 now, which is absolutely amazing. And you know why? Because you cheated. No! The shorts are definitely my most successful. However, ASA is my favorite series to make because I just like getting questions and answering them. It's usually pretty fun, so I just kind of like to do that. And so that's when I do ASA. ASA is every other Wednesday, and I just, I enjoy ASA more. I would say I definitely like to make ASA more, but the shorts are more successful. Next question is from Hershey Animations, and he says, ASA, what is your opinion on each community for LEGO? Some examples examples are stop motion, mock building, reviews, LNA. I don't know what that is, but I would love for you to explain on it. I don't know what LNA is. I probably should have done some research on this. And in fact, I would argue that I don't know a lot of the Lego communities just because I don't actually watch a lot of videos on Lego other than maybe like reviews on a set before I buy it. I would say you can never go wrong with mocks, right? Mocks are always cool, like no matter what. And stop motion's cool, but I don't actually watch a lot of stop motions either. I just think it's really cool that no matter what you like, you can just do whatever you want with Lego. So like regardless if you end up doing stop motions or mocks or like alternate builds where you take a set and make your own creation out of it or you just review a set that already exists, that's kind of like what I do with my shorts. No matter what you do, you can just do anything and that's what's really cool about Lego is like there's just there's endless possibilities and endless themes to do those endless possibilities with. So though this is kind of a lame answer I just love it all I don't know if that counts I'm sorry if I cheated and if this is a really good question I just don't know how to answer it next question is from clone 66 studios and he says ASA do you have any pets so my whole family pretty much has a pet but I'm only gonna show you my dog so this is my puppy or bear I like to call her my bear her name is Kenya she's three years old she weighs about 40 pounds and she definitely has some German Shepherd in her but that's all I know she's technically a mutt I don't know what else is mixed with her but she's a good puppy and I absolutely adore her or should I say bear she's a puppy bear there we go next question is from Plurpis ASA if you could have any Lego set for free but then you could never get rid of it which one would you pick so I'm gonna go with one of the most expensive Lego sets out there just because it's absolutely beautiful the early 2000s paneled Death Star because that set is ridiculously expensive oh my goodness so it would be amazing to have for free. Now, of course, the catch is that you can then never get rid of it, but why would I ever want to get rid of that? But also, it never says I had to build it. So I would just keep it sealed in the box, provided that it's not already built. And then when I have a much bigger place I could store it, then build it. And so if you would like to buy it for me, DM me on Instagram. No, I'm just kidding. Next question is from EK Starlord, and he says, Have you seen Black Panther Wakanda Forever? If so, what did you think of it? Please, no spoilers. Don't worry. I won't spoil it just because you said please. I absolutely loved Wakanda Forever. I thought it was a beautiful movie. The visuals were beautiful. The story was cool. It was kind of emotional, maybe just a little sad unless I'm just a baby, but I really enjoyed the movie. I thought it was definitely worth it. So if, if anyone here has not seen it yet, I would suggest that you go watch it. It's a really good movie. I might go see it again just because of how good it was. I really liked it. And so it's definitely the best movie we got this year. The other two movies were just kind of dumb, right? I don't know, but this one was good. And our last question is from Mayo Husko, and he says, ASA, what are your thoughts about the overload of Lego sets greater than 200 USD? Honestly, I just love Lego, and so whenever Lego makes Lego sets, specifically Lego Star Wars, I just always love it. Now, yes, I do prefer cheaper and more affordable under $100 kind of sets. I don't have a problem with Lego sets being $200 or more. I just think 
that's cool, but I just can't buy everything, and that's okay. I absolutely love UCS LEGO Star Wars sets, for an example, and most of the time, there are more than $200, but I don't got a problem with it. Hopefully that answers your question. And so that's going to do it for today's episode of ASA, so thank you all very much for watching. Thank you for all your questions. Make sure you leave a question or two down below for the next episode. Leave a like while you're down there. It helps out a lot. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you guys next time. Wah.